Hi, I'm Larry O'Brien, Vice President of Research for ARC Advisory Group, and we're here this week at the ARC Industry Forum in Orlando, Florida. And with me today is Eddie Habibi, uh, founder and CEO of PAS. Uh, good afternoon, Eddie. Good afternoon, Larry. It's good to be here. Yeah, I'm, uh, we're really glad you're here. Um, so I'll just get started. We have, we have some questions about your business and, and uh, where things are headed with PAS. Of course. Um, you know, uh, a lot of the talk at industry conferences over the past year, including this industry conference, uh, is around not just IT, OT convergence, uh, but also around OT cybersecurity uh, and process safety convergence, which happens to be one of the things that I'm following here this week. And I was wondering if you could just tell us why uh, is it so important for cybersecurity and process safety teams to collaborate? Absolutely. If you look at the consequences of a safety event or a cybersecurity event, they're very much similar. Uh, the end result of a cyber attack, when successful, uh, is very similar to when a safety incident occurs. Damage to equipment, loss of production, and consequently, possibly uh, catastrophic events that can damage the business. Now, that cybersecurity risk is another risk that management has to worry about, similar to the same way they have, to, uh, they have had to uh, be concerned about over the last 30, 40 years, and, uh, and needs to be taken very seriously. Yeah, I, I think we're in total agreement there. Uh, very significant. Uh, operational costs, losses, you know, due to unplanned downtime um, in, in, in the billions of dollars, right? It doesn't matter whether it's a cybersecurity incident or a process safety incident, you know, a lot of times the, uh, the end result financially and, um, you know, operationally can, can be the same. Um, it also appears that similar to last year, uh, building and maintaining a complete and accurate ICS asset inventory uh, remains a challenge. Um, in other words, people don't know, you know, what they have out there in terms of ICS assets. What is unique about the PAS approach to providing inventory visibility? One of the reasons people come to us for uh, getting a control over their, the inventory of their assets is that we take a totally different approach from the traditional uh, approach that some of the other uh, companies take to identifying the inventory of their assets. And that is we take a back-end OT-centric approach to collecting backup files and uh, system databases to create that inventory. Why is that important? The reason that's important is that you must have 100% of your assets inventory. You have to know what you have, otherwise you can't manage it, you can't protect it. It makes no sense to say I have an inventory, but oh, well, it's 90% or 95%. It needs to be 100%. And our approach is the only approach that can deliver that kind of result. The other approach uh, that the rest of the marketplace seems to take is network monitoring approach, whether it's passive or active, listening to the wire or pinging the devices on the uh, level two network and trying to understand what devices exist there. Well, you're not gonna pick up all the devices at level zero, level one, and level two, if you take that approach. Well put, well put. Um, what are the three most important OT cybersecurity considerations uh, that asset owners must consider in the coming year? I mean, obviously inventory might be one of those, or there, or there may be some more important considerations. Inventory is very foundational. Yeah. You, can't, you can't run a cybersecurity program without having a complete inventory of your OT assets. That is absolutely a given. That needs to be the focal point of solving the cybersecurity problem for the OT environment. The area that we're seeing a lot of traction with our clients coming to us and asking for that kind of solution is management of the configuration of these systems. One of the realizations uh, for folks, especially people coming from the IT side, is that there's a distinct difference between breaches of the IT systems and that of the OT. When somebody attacks an OT system, their intention is to move molecules, not just move digital uh, bits. It is to move molecules, to move electrons, to cause harm, to close a valve that's not supposed to be closed, stop a pump that's not supposed to stop. And where they go to impart that attack 
is the configuration of these control systems. And unless you are managing a baseline of these configurations, as well as managing change on the configurations, you can't protect these systems. You can't detect these problems and you can't protect them. And another advantage of having a deep uh, understanding of the configuration of these systems is being able to run forensics as to where the configuration was altered so you can reverse it. So the third part of this is backup and recovery. So in our view, the most important, three most important things in addressing the OT cybersecurity are an inventory, a complete inventory, not 99%, 100% inventory of the assets, understanding the configuration of the system and managing change on these systems. And thirdly, having a backup and being able to recover from an in inadvertent mistake or an attack. We, we have to assume eventually there will be attack. We have to assume eventually we lose the system. You have the ability to come back. And, and our solution is the only one in the industry that provides all of those three capabilities seamlessly. Yeah, very good points. And I, I totally agree with you. I, we run into a lot of people that, that don't really have a recovery plan. Um, that's not something that usually comes into people's minds as they're building a cybersecurity yeah. strategy is how do we recover if something happens. Um, do you have any key success stories uh, for ICS cybersecurity with PAS that have happened over the past year and anything you want to share in that regard? Absolutely. Last year was a very, very exciting year for us. From a revenue growth standpoint, our cybersecurity business grew by 121%. In fact, in the fourth quarter alone, we closed six very large OT cybersecurity deals. That is just amazingly incredible. One of those clients had tried a DPI approach, that's deep packet in inspection, monitoring of the network approach to gather the inventory of their systems, both on the SCADA side as well as on the DCS side. They gave up after a couple of years, they've given up and they have come to us to provide them that solution because they recognize Monitoring the wire is not going to give you 100% of your inventory. And unless you have 100% of your inventory, it's just not good enough. Great. Well, thanks for your time this afternoon. We really appreciate uh, answering our questions and sharing some really good information about PAS and, and the world of uh, OT cybersecurity. Uh, again, this is Larry O'Brien of ARC Advisory Group. Uh, thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.